How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and just a quick announcement before the video starts, I have created a Discord server, so if you're interested in joining, there will be a link in the description below. Alright, let's get on with the video. So, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at another bunch of cheap cards, this time around, around the $20 mark. And as you can see right here, I'm also using a different format than what I usually do. Let me know if you like this format better than the other ones where I would usually just browse on TCG player and card market and record my screen, or if you like this one better. Alright, first card up right here though, is the Iron Boulder from Temporal Forces. And this one is available on TCG Player for just around $20. I'm a little bit cheating here. You might have to be very lucky to get a cheaper version, but it is around the $20 mark. And honestly, how much the card lost in price, I mean, it shouldn't be that surprising. It is from a newer set, so it was bound to lose some value here, which is great. I do strongly believe, though, if you wait a little bit longer, you might be able to get this one for $15. But as of right now, even for 20 or around 20, this is an awesome purchase. Uh, luckily though, for us in Europe, this card is actually a bit cheaper. Um, you can have one for around 14 to 15 euros over in Europe, which is really, really cool. And you can already see how much cheaper this card is over in Europe. And I do strongly believe, give it a month or two and this card will be even cheaper in Europe and in the US. Still, as I said, even at that price, a really good pickup. Next up is the Miraidon EX from the Scarlet and Violet base set. I've actually featured this card I think multiple times now, but the artwork of the card is just so incredible and especially for the price at around $15, this is a no-brainer, this is an absolute steal. Over in Europe though, this card is a bit more expensive at around 18 euros. Also, while well Reddit, not technically supposed to be on this list, but I thought I'd mention the Coridon EX also from the Scarlet and Violet base set as well. Since the card is even cheaper than Miraidon, just at around $10, but it's just as good looking as the Miraidon in my opinion. Maybe even better, but that's just personal preference. Over in Europe though, this card is once again a little bit more expensive at around 15 euros. Next up is the Shadow Rider Calyrex from Chilling Rain. And as it might become apparent as we move further down, we're taking a little trip down memory lane. We move from the Scarlet and Violet era to the Sword and Shield era. And this Shadow Rider Calyrex is one of the alternate arts that's still affordable, you know, the whole hype with the Moon Brion and uh, a lot of others. This one being available, as I'm recording this, there's one near mint copy on sale for $21, shipping included. But there are also light plate copies for just around that $20 mark. Uh, this is an awesome card though, and with how expensive most of the alternate arts are getting as of late, it's great to see that there are still cheap ones available. Over on the European side, though, we are a little bit unlucky as it is just over that 20 euro mark. Um, there are a few on sale for below 20 euros, but those are from the UK, so you would have to pay tax if you aren't from the UK. There are some available from other countries, though, where you wouldn't have to pay value added tax for around 22 to 23 euros. Speaking of cheap alternate arts, this is an alternate art that I've also pretty sure mentioned multiple times in these videos. It's the Golurk V from Evolving Skies, currently available for around $18 including shipping. And this card, I've said it so many times and I'll say it again, I love this illustration. There is so many Pokemon in the illustration itself and it's super well done too by Oswaldo Cato, a really really great artist. Over on the European side though, we are in luck since this card actually turns out to be a bit cheaper over here at just around 15 euros. Let's move away from the Pokemon for a bit and try to feature some full art trainer cards. The first one being this Marnie Sword and Shield promo card, available for, with shipping included, at $19. And this card is actually notorious for being very, very expensive in Japanese. Luckily though, we have the English version, which is super affordable. Over on the European side though, this card is once again actually a lot cheaper when you look at the prices. Around 11 euros to 13 euros for this card over here. Next up is a trainer from the Scarlet and Violet era, specifically Paradox Rift. It's the Parasol Lady. This card was actually the most expensive trainer card in Paradox Rift when the set first came out. Right now though, it is available for around $15 with shipping. 
over on the European side it is available for around 14 euros. And that's actually pretty cool. I did actually pull this card and at first I wasn't sure about the card itself, but after looking at it and seeing it, it's actually pretty well done and I really, really like it. The last trainer on this list is the Elisa Sparkle from Crown Zenith, currently available with shipping for $16. Over on the European side, we are unlucky once again. Just under 20 euros, so it's still below that magic mark. But this card is amazing. I was gonna say since it is the best Elisa full art, but then again, there are only two versions and this one beats the one from Fusion Strike by Miles. Um, be that as it may though, as I said, amazing card and especially good for, for the price. Let's take a look at two trainer gallery cards. First up being this Mimic UV. And as you can see, this is actually the Japanese card that I'm featuring right here from VMAX Climax. The Japanese version is currently available for around $19. And why do I feature the Japanese version instead of the English one? Well, the English one is technically cheaper though, albeit not by much. And that's why I thought I'd feature the Japanese version since the texture is just way, way better, believe you me. Either way though, if you're choosing the English version nonetheless though, the card is still amazing, the illustration is of course the same and the illustration is super well done. Over on the European side though, this card is available for around 18 euros. And it's actually kind of surprising. I remember a time where this card used to be like over 50 euros and that wasn't when, when VMAX Climax was freshly released. I'm pretty sure that was just a few months back actually towards the beginning of the year or maybe the end of 2023, that card was kind of crazy, among other cards, may notoriously being um, all of the Lily cards, like every single card that featured Lily was crazy expensive for some reason. I think most of them have come down. I do know that the Sogaleo and Lunala GX that I have came down a lot, but you know, that's fine. Card is still amazing. Doesn't matter. Um, moving it on though with the next card, we have the Blaziken VMAX from Silver Tempest. This one though being in English, and this one is available for around $12 to $13 depending on the shipping fees, but still an amazing card. Over on the European side, it is even cheaper than that. You can have one for below 10 euros. This card would actually fit perfectly in a tier list for cards below 10 euros, for sure, but I'd still feature it here. This card is actually in a similar position to the Q card, since the Japanese version is actually similarly priced to the English one. Once again though, doesn't matter if you go English or Japanese on those two cards, both versions are equally incredible. Next up is a card that I really wanted to include in this list, even though I'm technically cheating on the price. It's the Mew from Celebrations, and this one is available for around $21.50, $22, so I'm a little bit cheating here with the price point. But I included it anyways because, well, first, it's a Mew card. Second, it's a very cool Mew card because the Mew is shiny. And thirdly, I couldn't believe how cheap this card has actually gotten. Maybe I haven't been paying attention much to it recently, but I could have sworn that card was way more expensive. It's great to see that this one is available for around $22. This is an amazing card and I highly recommend to pick up at least one copy for your collection. Over on the European side though, we are out of luck unfortunately, since even the cheapest offer is above 30 euros. Which is technically still a good price by the way, I'm not just saying that because it's a Mew card. Next up is another card from Celebrations, it's the Umbreon Gold Star, currently available for around $15. And this is another card that I just couldn't believe how cheap it has gotten recently. Once again, maybe it was always the case and I just haven't been paying attention. But I am positively surprised how cheap this one is. I bought a PSA 10 of this card not too long ago, and seeing the prices right now, I definitely overpaid for that one. Um, speaking of overpaying though, unfortunately on the European side, this card is a little bit more expensive, at around 22 euros for this one. Um, I'm stretching it with the with the price limit for this one, but honestly, at 22 euros, it's still an incredible steal. And if you're buying the Umbreon, you might need an Eevee for your collection as well. So here we have this goofy looking Eevee GX, currently available for around $15 to $16, depending on the shipping fees. And I actually have two of those cards and I love how goofy they look. Over on the European side, this card is available for around 18 euros. 
Next up are actually two cards at the same time. First being the Reshiram and Zekrom GX, and then the Solgaleo and Lunala GX, both from Cosmic Eclipse. The Reshiram and Zekrom is available for around $13, and the Solgaleo is available for around $8, or 12 euros and 7 euros respectively. And honestly, with how expensive most of the Tech Team GX cards are, I'm still surprised that these are somewhat affordable. I mean, don't look at the full art or alternate art versions of these cards. But then again, this is still really incredible. I mean, the illustrations for both of these is super well done, right? I really, really love both of these cards. Now we're moving back even further, all the way back to Majestic Dawn, until we hit some vintage cards after this Darkrai right here. And the illustration is once again top notch. There is actually a Japanese version of this card that is way more expensive, but it's only that expensive because it is a play promo. And this one being illustrated by Mitsuhiro Arita, that's a complete no-brainer. Currently available for around $20. Over on the European site, you can find one for around $12, $12 to $15. And we have reached the vintage era. Starting it off with a banger, the Mew from Expedition, specifically in a light plate copy and the non-holographic version. As I said with so many other cards, the hollow foil, while it does look nice, it doesn't do anything for the illustration itself. The illustration is still super cute looking, even when being a non-holographic. This one being available in a light plate copy for around $15. And man, do I love this illustration. I really, really do. I've said it also a bunch of times right now, but the holo version for this card was actually one of the first cards I bought when I got back into the hobby. And this is an amazing card. Over on the European side, it's actually a similar price at 15 euros. For once, we have similar prices, believe it or not. Next up is the Blastoise, also from Expedition, also non-holographic and in a light plate copy. This one being available for $18. And also on the European side, a little bit cheaper at around $15. Once again though, non-holographics. And I feel like the non-holographics don't get the love they deserve. Because they still look amazing. Yeah, they might not shine. And most of us do collect shiny cardboard. But as for me, I do just love looking at the illustrations of some of these cards. And this, this is a good one. Last but not least, we have a Houndoom from Aquapolis. This one actually being in a near mint copy, still non-holographic, but once again the illustration makes up for that. Um, once again available for $18 on the TCG player side and over on the European side a little bit cheaper at around 15 euros. Well, but that does it for this video. I hope I did get to show you some cards that you weren't aware of were actually that cheap. And I would also love to hear if I have missed any card that are below $20 that should absolutely be in your collection. I have done a bunch of these videos, so go check them out in the playlist. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. To the right of your screen, there will be a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. To the left somewhere is the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button first, then click the video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And once again, I have opened a Discord server. Link is in the description as well. And thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Take care.